forest path in Flanders. Nello and his grandpa were on their way back home after delivering milk. Grandpa, a dog is lying on the ground! shouted Nello as he spotted the dog, which was whipped and abandoned. Oh no! It's beaten to death! Grandpa and Nello took the dog to their hut. All right soon. Nello wiped the wounds carefully and gave the dog some warm milk. He drank the milk hurriedly. Ooh, you must have been very hungry. The dog got healthier day by day. Nello named him Patrash. Since the family got bigger, Grandpa worked even harder, and that made him sick. Patrash and I will deliver milk from now on. So from that day on, Nello started delivering milk with Patrash. <coughs> Patrash ran pulling the cart excitedly. Sometimes he had Nello on the empty cart on the way home. Nello had a friend called Aloise. She was the only daughter of Mr. Kogens, the owner of the mill. Nello went out to the field with Aloise. Have a seat here, Aloise. Nello made her a necklace with flowers. Decorated with colorful flowers, she was as pretty as a princess. Nello drew a picture of her on the board. What are you doing here, Aloise? Mr. Cognes, Aloise's father, came. He hated his daughter hanging out with Nello because Nello was an orphan and poor. Don't play with Nello again. Never! Mr. Cognes took Aloise home. cathedral in Flanders, there was a famous picture titled Elevation of the Cross, painted by Rubens. I'm going to be a painter as famous as Rubens. Nello sat down in the corner of the barn and drew a picture. Drawn only with charcoal, it was great. to see Aloise when I become a great painter. Nello sent his picture to the Junior Drawing Contest. One day, Aloise's mill caught fire. Nello caused a fire. As he hated Nello, Mr. Kogas told everyone in the village that it was Nello who had caused the fire. All the people in the village blamed Nello. Nello caused the fire! 
he felt mortified, but said nothing. It had snowed a lot, and Nello couldn't go out to deliver milk. <coughs> Suddenly, Patrash pulled Nello's clothes. Feeling strange, Nello ran to Grandpa. Grandpa! Grandpa was breathing hard, lying on the bed. Ooh, ooh, I want to see your picture before I die. Looking at Nello's picture, Grandpa gave up his last breath with a happy look on his face. Get out of here if you cannot pay for the rent. The landlord was a cold-hearted man. Please, give me a few more days. No way. Nello begged and begged him, but it was no use. He even took Nello's cart away. It was the day of announcement of the winner of the drawing competition. Let me win this contest, please! Nello prayed and prayed in his heart. At noon, the winning picture was hung on the bulletin board. It wasn't Nello's picture, but someone else's, beautifully painted in all different colors. What should we do now, Patrash? Nello started walking down the snow-covered street. Suddenly, Patrash sniffed and dug in the snow. There was a thick wallet in the snow. This is Mr. Codges' wallet! Nello ran to Mr. Codges' house right away. It was Patrash that found your wallet, so please take care of him. Nello didn't want him to freeze to death. Frozen all over, Nello went to the great cathedral. I want to see Reuben's picture. The doors of the cathedral were wide open. Right then, Patrash ran into the cathedral. Patrash! Nello held him tight. The moonlight through the window lit the picture brightly. The next morning, Nello and Patrash were found dead. I lost my chance to be forgiven. Mr. Kajas knelt down and cried. The judge of the drawing contest fell on his knees too. Your picture was so great that I thought someone else had drawn it for you. Nello and Patrash were buried next to Grandpa. You will still be alive in my mind forever, whispered Aloise, laying some flowers at the grave.